Diego. This is girls varsity soccer. It's Caber soccer against the Chula Vista Spartans. Hello again, everybody. I'm Greg K. Porter. For GK Sports, we're at the game. Now let's get the lineup for the Spartans. First, uh, it'll be the sophomore, Michelle Estrada. Number uh, Mia Medina, I believe one, they're either both of them are keepers. Number three, it'll be uh, Carolina Castro. She's a senior. The junior, Salima Fosto. The junior, number five, Fosto is four. The junior, number five, Kelly Garcia. The junior, number six, Angela Gonzalez. The sophomore, number seven, Ashante Gatlin. The junior, number eight, Jaden Ortiz. The sophomore, number nine, Alice Villa Gomez. The senior, number 12, Stephanie Aguiar. The freshman, number 13, Syria Blanco. The senior, number 14, Olga Cosias. The freshman, number 16, Alyssa Medina. The sophomore, number 17, Kaylin Gatlin. The senior, number 18, Karen Gutierrez. The junior, number 19, Yasmin Corona. And the sophomore, number 20, Julia Hermosillo. And of course, you know your Caber lineup. Should be on your screen. The Cabers, unfortunately, are 0-4-0 in their league play. The league standings is uh, Mission Bay. They are 3-0-2 in league play, 13-0-2 on the season. Patrick Henry is 4-6 uh, and six on the season, 3-1 and one in league play. Sarah is third. They're 6-7-1 on the season, 2-1-1 one one in league play. 4-10-1 is Christian, and they're 1-3 and three in league play. And, of course, I mentioned the Cabers are 0-4-0 in league play, bringing up the rear, and they're 6-6-2 six, six on the season. Lots of things have happened during the course of the season for the Cabers. Uh, injuries and the like. But uh, Steve Lincoln's squad is going to continue to work hard and, and try and get the most out of the rest of the season. They still can get into the double digits as far as victories on the overall season. Remember, this is the first time they have played in Division II in recent memory. They won the Division III championship last season. So the Spartans will be in the all-white, and in the blue with the white shorts are the Cabers. Bongo getting her shoes tied up so you can get ready to get between the pipes. On a beautiful day out here in San Diego, not even a half a mile from the world-famous San Diego Zoo. Don't forget about our uh, website. That's at gksports.org. Just go to the top of the page for all our Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, and like us, follow us through those... Uh, websites. Shift colors for all you sailors out there past and present. We are underway. Spartans with the soccer ball. That's Hermosillo. Back to Castro and down the left flank. But now the Cabers have it. The Spartans had to play a game yesterday and so the Cabers having an opportunity to play a team that is going to be a little bit uh, tender out there as far as uh, the bumps and bruises and scenario. So let's see what they can do with that. After the free kick, a deflection is in the attacking third. Montes 
Tried to get it on the near side. The header by uh, Kylie Jones. Tucci fighting for it. Goes across the field now. Leah Guile gives it to her teammate. Tucci with it. Back to Guile. Cabers now on the attack. The intercepted by the Spartans. Aguiar for Chula Vista. Her pass intercepted. Mitchell drops it back. Jones sending it over to her sister Shelby Jones and a pass. Nice pass to Mitchell. Near side to Montes. She's tripped up. And it'll be another free kick on the near side. So two free kicks early for the Cabers of San Diego High School. Hopefully your day has gone well. If you are overseas and if you're here in the United States, it is going well. Noontime start out here in the Pacific region. Spartans trying to work out of their own end. Gomez. Pass intercepted by the Cabers. Montes sends it to the central, but that pass is intercepted. Shelby Jones gets it to Tucci at a nice step and then tries to retrieve it and does so. As it was sent back by Mitchell and... Cross midfield, Montes. Back line able to make the play, send it across midfield. Tucci, back to her keeper. Ongo's pass was intercepted, partially deflected, and it goes out of play. Fortunately for Vongo is that the striker didn't get all of that soccer ball. He's got a piece of it. In the area, and it's always dangerous in the world of soccer if you're the defender and the keeper, but Vongo makes a save. Nil nil your score. It's the first few minutes of the match. Sit back with your lunch out here in the San Diego area, Southern California area, and enjoy this one. San Diego High School, oldest high school in San Diego. Old Balboa Stadium, where the Chargers used to play when they first started down here in San Diego. And now coming into the match is Mara Hyde, who's gone through the concussion protocol. Unfortunately, and has to really be careful with heading the soccer ball. That's why she has the head adornment in white. You're only allowed to wear that if that's the problem. Midfield, and now Hyde is going to get her first touch of the match. They double teamed her, but still on the soccer ball are the Cabers now. Good passing to the near side. There's Shelby Jones. Jones gets it to Montes. Montes double teamed, and they were off sides. So the Spartans will have the free kick from deep in their own half of the field. Intercepted by Tucci. Nicely done. Guile is trying to pursue it. Can't get it. And it's out of play. That pressure by Guile that time allows a throw in for the Cabers. Hyde. Great on the soccer ball. Mara Hyde 
And they double team her and take it away. She is being much more careful as you've seen her in the last couple of games since she's come back out there on the pitch. And there's a reason, obviously, for that, as I just mentioned. Sends an early ball, but uh, Guile won't be able to run onto that one. So Medina will get it going for the Spartans. Off of Montes midfield, Spartans have it. Tucci. Good defense that time by uh, Emma Easton tracking back. Bongo sends it to midfield. Guile got a defender in front of her. Guile still stays after, keeps the pressure on. And that pressure allowed a turnover. So it'll be a throw in at midfield for the San Diego High School Cavers. Green. Hyde. Mara to the near side. Gets it to Jones. Shelby Jones to Dominica Montes. Montes back to Mara Hyde now. Hyde still on the soccer ball now. Towards the central. She just missed her teammate, Nicole Mitchell, in the box. Hyde. Gets it again on the intercept. DeMontis, they were offsides. So it'll be another free kick with the Spartans. Coming up from the South Bay. After this game, all of their games in league play will be against South Bay teams. Talking about the Chula Vista Spartans. Samantha Green. For the Cabers, sends it all the way back to her keeper, Vongo. But it's intercepted. Can they keep possession? They do. Nicely done by Blanco. Early ball now, but Vongo will get to it. About eight and a half gone in this match. Vongo down the right flank. Nearly a handball. Spartans now. Trying to find somebody up there as an attacker, but uh, good play in the back by San Diego High School. Green. Tucci intercepted by Blanco now. Blanco is going to hit it from distance. No problem for Mongo. She drifts off to her left. In this nil-nil affair. Starting at noontime out here in San Diego High School. You want to subscribe to us at GK Sports. And then you can see all of our live streams. All of our second copies, which this game will turn into at some point down the road. And that will have the instant replays and the highlights of the game. You always want to take a look at it again. Usually the resolution is even better. So we'll keep working on that part of it as far as the live stream is concerned. Ball sent out of play. And it will be a throw in. Do we have a substitution? That was a sign given by the linesman as we have the normal soccer scenario with a center ref and two linesmen. Seeing that a lot more this year. Maybe that's a mandate this year that has kind of changed some things. Into the match now is uh, Yasmin Corona for... Chula Vista. Montes. Offsides again. It's more of a mental thing that it starts to work on in your attack. You cannot stay on sides.
the energy level will be tested for the Spartans. They had to play yesterday, so at some point, if they have to play in their own defensive half a lot, it's going to wear down the defenders. And the midfielders, they have to drop in spaces. So it'll be a throw in from the near side. Yasmin Corona will throw it in. Gets it into her teammate, Irma Seal, but her pass is intercepted. Knifing in with Fausto into the central, just above the area now for the Spartans. Want to get an attack going here in the corner, but uh, it's going to be a goal kick. A little bit too much pace on the ball that time. Not able to keep that offensive attack alive. Bongo drives it upfield, gets a good bit of air on the ball, but then uh, the Spartans are able to come out with it. And they're back on the attack. The near side, Montes will intercept it. Gets a return pass from Jones and was knocked out by the Spartans. Here's Hyde now. Mara Hyde turns. She'll work you to the left and work you to the right as far as moves that she makes with that soccer ball. Word has gotten out that she's a player that you got to be careful of. Going to be a throw in now for the Spartans out of their own defensive third. A lot of high schools do not play soccer on Saturdays. And a foul on the play. It'll be a free kick now for the Spartans. Carolino Castro took the free kick. Gatlin intercepted now a turn, and it is sent out of play. It'll be a corner kick. We've done the Spartans before some years ago when we first started high school soccer against the Foothillers of Grossmont High. Some of these players were on that team. Some of the seniors. And maybe juniors. Out swinger, it's intercepted. Trying to get another strike on the Spartans, they can't get one. So way away from the 18-yard area, but then uh, they had another pass was intercepted, and Guile looking for somebody up forward, but nobody's there. Hyde can't get to it in time. An early ball now towards the 18, and Bongo able to range off her line, the top of the box, so she, she could still use her hands and make the save. You young children, you want to be keepers. You can't touch it with your hands past that 18-yard area. And whatever the size of it is at the young ages, you can't touch it if you're the keeper with your hands. How to use your feet after that. Free kick now. Foul against the Cabers. Spartans want to be on attack again. It's out of play. So it'll be a throw in for San Diego High. Jones retrieves it. About 15 and a half gone so far in the match. 40 minute halves. High school soccer, girls varsity.
Medina comes off the line, grabs it. Medina is only a freshman. But you know she did a lot of great work in her middle school days, and obviously younger than that, club soccer days. Green, Montes. On the run is Tinsley, but they take it away. Getting it back out of Cabers. It just whizzes by Tinsley, but Tinsley runs onto it now. There's a whistle, and it's going to work against the Cabers. So the free kick again now for, in their own defensive half, Spartans of Chula Vista. Still a nil-nil score. Hopefully you're enjoying it. The 17 minutes just about gone. Don't forget about our sponsor. That's Dental Arts of Palm Avenue. They're down there in the South Bay, right across from Montgomery High School in that strip mall. Way in a corner. Affordable rates for the entire family. Got teeth cleanings or worse, all the way up to implants. They can take care of you. It's Dental Arts of PalmAb.com. That's their website. Check them out. On the near side, Montes won't get to it. However, it was touched out by the Spartans, and Montes has it now. The Spartans were asking for a handball, but they didn't get it. Mara Hyde now plays it forward. Mitchell, who plays it to the near side now from Montes, but you can't keep it in. Montes in those lime green cleats. Spartans get it up to midfield and try and go further with it. But now, unfortunately for the Cabers, falling down that time was a green. And they were able to get a strike forward but intercepted as there's plenty of numbers back for San Diego High. Treating back there was the senior Castro on an intercept. Players into space and sending that ball forward that time was uh, Gatlin. Jones plays it to Tucci. Tucci's pass was intended for Montes, but it got intercepted. Corona on the intercept. into the match now for the Cabers is uh, St. Agath. Montes after the throw in on the attack. Good ball. She's on side. Go. Go, 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 go. It's one nil. San Diego high. And that's what you want to do if you know a team has played yesterday. You want to put them under pressure. You want to put balls into the back of the net, and that's what Hyde is thinking right now. Sends it out to Guile. Her pass is intercepted that time by Gatlin. So it'll be a throw in for the Cabers. Kenzie Easton will throw it in. Now 
19 minutes left to play in the first half. Cole Mitchell plays it across field, but that pass got intercepted by Corona. Plays it up forward to Gatlin. They are on possession, and a shot is blocked. Agathy plays it to the near side towards Montes, but she can't get it. So it'll be a throw in out of their defensive third for San Diego, for the uh, Spartans, I should say. Trying to get above 500 are the Cabers. They're 6-6-2 six, six, on the entire season. Carolina Castro was the throw in. Intercepting was Tucci, but her pass partially deflected. It goes all the way back. Center defender. The Caber is trying to continue forward, but it's intercepted. Tucci intercepts it for the Cabers. DeMar Hyde now quickly turns, sends it to Agathy, and a beautiful pass. Agathy on the near side. Just a little bit towards the interior that time, and uh, that ball is sent out of play. It'll be a goal kick. Had Hyde sent it a little bit more wide that time. Agathy would have had a better chance to control it. Had a great pace on that soccer ball, though. Cavers leading 1-0. Wanting to continue the good play in this match. Spent a lot of time in the defensive half of Chula Vista High. Ball is out of play. It'll be a throw in now. For CVHS. Goes over towards my, Mar High now. Running onto it nicely is Mitchell. But her pass intercepted. Livia Tucci. Agathy is able to play it to her teammate, but uh, she couldn't do anything with it. And she was being pressured on the pass. Out of the defensive third, Spartans with the throw in. Sent out of play. Shelby Jones will throw it in. Blanco didn't like the non-call on that play. Hyde gets a return pass from St. Agathy and then tries to turn with it, and they steal it from her. She gets uh, support, and it is sent out of play by Jones. That's Shelby Jones. The younger of the sisters. Center defender has it, sends it. Intercepted by Tucci. Nicely done. Over to Mitchell. Trying to play it in space for running onto it. Would have been Green, but she couldn't get to it. And now here come the uh, Spartans. But Green finds it. They didn't get it a strong enough pass now. Mitchell, Shelby Jones, cuts it inside. Looks for Hyde. Hyde runs onto it now and is going to pass it. And Montes couldn't control it. Don't know if the pass was intended for her. And now Montes working hard, putting some big-time pressure on Castro. 
as their defenders are under siege right now as the Cavers want to continue in the defensive half. On the pass by Guile, it's intercepted. Buzzing around now are the Cavers now. The St. Agatha goal! Go, 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 Madison St. Agathy, the senior, puts it into the back of the net, and now it's 2 0. San Diego High School Cavers. As defenders, you don't want to find yourself under siege in a world of soccer, and that's exactly what the Cavers were doing to the defenders of the Spartans. Some say, some, uh, I should say, some changes were made as far as substitutions are concerned for the Spartans and we'll mention those names as they touch that soccer ball out there on the pitch with 12 just inside 13 minutes left to play in the first half Cabers in good position right now trying to get their seventh victory of the entire season and be over 500 for the first time in a while Shelby Jones will throw it in. Mara Hyde, the dangerous one, sends it towards St. Agathy. A couple of seniors working together, but it's stolen away. Knifing in is Olga Casillas. Then the pass was intercepted. Corona now on the move. Early ball. Had too much pace on it that time, so Bongo gets to it. They were looking for Syria Blanco, the freshman. We may have seen Blanco before. I know our PA announcer, I believe we filmed her before. Durst, she is on the team. As some of these freshmen more than likely in years past, were filmed by GK Sports. We're going to continue as best we can, cover as much as we can, not only girls' soccer, but uh, boys' soccer. Haven't done it at the high school level, but that's the intention. Maybe next season. We've definitely done it at the club level. St. Agathy on the run. Cuts it inside now. Cross the field. Guile, but it's going to be offside. Maybe Montes was offside. So another free kick. As the offside's bug has kind of bitten the Cabers in this match early on. But they're playing at home and they're loving... Playing at home in the middle of the day so far, leading 2-0 against the Chula Vista Spartans of the South Bay. Garcia, or correction on that, that's uh, Easton. Stolen away by Chula Vista. Gatlin's pass is intercepted. Nicely done as getting back there was Tucci. Tucci has kind of dropped back a little bit. Playing that center defender role. Here comes the attack right outside the area for Chula Vista, but intercepted by St. Agat Agathy. And it's out of play. Nice play by Madison that time. Got a goal in this match.
Here she is again, trying for a second, and no, oh, it will be instead her teammate on a good pass. But offsides is a call, and it will be disallowed. So it is still 2-0. 8.5 left to play in the first half. But that was a good rush up the field for the Cavers. And if that kind of offensive attack continues, the Spartans will be hard pressed in trying to get a draw or a victory out of this match. And here it comes again. You can't let Hyde and go! Go, 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 Mara Hyde gets on the scoreboard, and now it is 3-0. I was just about to try to say that Mara Hyde is a player you can't let her free, and if she's free in your defensive half, especially particularly in your 18-yard box, you are in real trouble. And she found the space and put it into the back of the net. The times that the Cavers have had great success this season, Mara Hyde has been a part of that when it comes to the offensive attack. And here she is again doing exactly that. On this Saturday afternoon, still a lot of time left in this match. If you're the Spartans, but you find yourself down by three goals, and that is a Herculean task in the world of soccer, especially, particularly in girls' varsity soccer. A lot of these teams do not give up much more than a goal or so. It is not a good day if they give up free goals in maybe a little bit more than a half. And so Herculean is also in there because of the fact that, as I mentioned early on, the Spartans had to play yesterday. Don't want you to turn away from the match, but... Is going to be asking a lot with a crew in white. That's a play that they could have maybe made better out of, but did not. Bongo with an easy save. Mitchell across the field. Guile trying to get to it. It's touched down by Guile. Just about five and a half left to play in the first half. San Diego High School with a very comfortable 3-0 lead. Montes knocked down, but center ref says play on. Back are the Spartans, and now knocked down is the Spartan player. Center ref says the same thing. Play on. The Spartans still have the soccer ball. Corona now sends it across, but nobody's going to be able to get to it. That sailed over the head of Emma Easton. Substitution is going to come in now for the Cavers. Marley Rastag is into the match, the freshman. As Guile comes out. The Cavers played a pretty good game against the number one team, Mission Bay. Just a couple of mistakes. And that's how the Bucks were able to win that match. Of course, it's on our site. You can take a look at it. 
so they can play at the very highest level. Just got to clean up a couple of things here and there. The champions from Division Three last season, the Cabers. And I don't mean league champions, I mean the section champions. Stag plays it forward to Montes, but again, the offsides call as reared its ugly head again towards the Cabers. Intercepted. Nice intercept that time by Easton. Loses it. Hyde, and it's going to be a free kick. The Spartans have a late call that time. Play had kind of continued on a little bit. But you've heard when I've talked on the Grossmont Foothiller games about the refs that you get at the high school level. Don't, it's like a uh, box of chocolates. You don't know what you're going to get. Blanco on the near side. Staying with it nicely is Aguiar. And then she goes down and goes out. But it's going to be a corner kick. So Aguiar hustling into space for the Spartans. At the 38th minute of the match. Corner kick now, and it's a short kick for possession. Chula Vista on the attack in the area now. A shot is blocked. And sent out of play by the Cabers. Running clock, so every time it goes out, it does not work for the Spartans of Chula Vista. They have to keep that ball in the field of play as much as they can the rest of the match. They're down by three goals. And Gatlin, the throw in and off a deflection to save by Vongo. St. Agathy. Directing over towards Montes, but uh, it's sent out of play. Just protecting in the back. The outside defenders, so it'll be a throw in. For the Cavers. In the attacking third. In the 40th minute. Center ref will be looking at his watch soon. Mitchell, Hyde, finds a little space for Montes now. She finds space, the shot is saved by Medina. Good play that time, good passing. Just couldn't lift it up in the air to tax Medina a little bit more. Hyde on the intercept. Maybe about 20 seconds or so left to go in this first half. The last chance upfield for Chula Vista as Shelby Jones now getting taxed but staying with a soccer ball and upfield. Won by uh, Corona but then taken away. Stag. Near side, it's out of play. It'll be a throw in. And the center ref, about ready to blow this one dead. A little bit extra time. Foul. I always say that the center ref has the official time. Doesn't matter what I come up with or what you see on our clock. And now that's the end of the first half.
Hope you enjoy the first half of action out here at San Diego High School where we find the score is three nil. The San Diego High School Cabers leading the Chula Vista High School Spartans. About 10 to 15 minutes and you can come back and watch the second half on this live stream. And if you're watching it on the second copy of the live stream, that begins with the highlights first right now. In the area, and it's always dangerous in the world of soccer if you're the defender and the keeper, but Bongo makes a save. After the throw in on the attack. Good ball. She's on side. Go. Go, 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 go. Ah. It's intercepted. Buzzing around now are the Cambers now. The St. Agatha. Go. Here she is again, trying for a second, and no, oh, it will be instead her teammate on a good pass. But offsides is a call, and it will be disallowed. We'll be hard-pressed in trying to get a draw or a victory out of this match. And here it comes again. You can't let Hyde and go. Go, 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 go. Gatlin, the throw in and off a deflection to save by Vongo. Montes now, she finds space, the shot is saved by Medina. Overall, the Spartans came into this match at 10, 12, and 8. So they've already into, got into double digits. 4, 4, and 5 in league play. Shift colors for you sailors out there past and present. We're underway. The Cambers playing at home are going from left to right in the second half. Right to left are the visiting Spartans. Spartans with a lot of work to do. Spartans with a victory over Mar Vista yesterday, 1-0. I told you they had overall record. It is 6-7-4, and four. correction on that. And that was how many wins they had last season in total. They are 2-2-3 two, two, and three this year in their league play. Broiled in a pretty good spot. Talk about the Spartans. Just behind Olympian. Foul is called, and it's going to be a free kick. Coming up now for the Spartans. In this 3-0 affair. I believe Michelle Estrada is in as keeper here in the second half for the Spartans. Bongo is still in there for the Cabers. Pass down the right flank, and it's out of play. It'll be a throw in now for the San Diego High School Cabers. Enjoying a very comfortable lead, even with the injuries that they have on this Saturday afternoon. Rare Saturday play in the section. And it happens from time to time throughout the season. Not a big schedule of teams playing. Spartans 
with the throw in. Deflection now and in the area still trying to continue on and that's going to be a goal kick. After that deflection and those are the ones that are, can be very dangerous if you're a defender. The next thing you know you don't know where the soccer ball is and then the striker or attacker gets onto that soccer ball and sends one towards your keeper. Tucci, trying to work out of their defensive third, and they get it to hide at just about midfield. Hyde, if you didn't watch the first half, she's been in the concussion protocol a couple of times, and that's why she's wearing the only player out there with the head adornment. like a helmet-like thing to try to protect her. A lot of times it's that collision and then how you fall when it comes to concussions. And sometimes you, you don't have a chance. You have no chance at trying to control that. And if you hit your head up against that turf, Then you're concussed. I have a whistle and a, I don't know if a player, a substitution is going to happen as St. Ag Agathy is coming into the match. Madison, who scored that goal, the second goal in the match. Coming in for Kylie Jones, the sophomore. The Cabers will go down as the first ever school that we had multiple sets of sisters playing on the same team. So the free kick now is Vongo. St. Agathy trying to get to it and could not because it took a high bounce. Out of play, throw in by the Spartans. Chula Vista on the attack, intercepted in the back as Shelby Jones lets it go out of play. It was lastly touched out by Chula Vista. Three nil. Good work in the first half by the Cavers playing at home today. Doing the kinds of things that their head coach likes. Had a good discussion with Coach Steve Lincoln before the game. Don't get a chance to see him much because the foothillers play usually on the same day. And hopefully in 2020 season, 2021, have an opportunity to not only do the Cabers home games, but their road games as well for the first time ever in a live stream. As not too many schools have somebody live stream filming them in the county and it is a handball and it's going to be a penalty kick for the Spartans. So the handball against the Cabers now and here's a chance to try to get back into the game if you're Chula Vista. Down 3-0. First of all to erase the clean sheet as they say. Can they do it? With the dreaded penalty kick. As a defender, you're always wondering about that, always worrying about that. 
I believe it's Blanco, and it is! A save by Fongo! Oh, she dove to her right and saved the soccer ball from going into the back of the net on a penalty kick! And those are huge! Those can win matches in and of themselves. Vongo, our biggest play of the year, on a save by the penalty kicking try. And now the Foothillers still have the shot out alive. If you're a defender, you gain a little more confidence because you know that you have your keeper having your back if you make a mistake. And that time is exactly what happened to the Cavers. They made a mistake in the back end. But Vago was uh, able to clean it up. But don't believe for one second that the Spartans are not going to keep working. They sent it behind frame. And a player is down. Did not see what happened. When a player is down for the Cavers. And so whatever it shows on a clock here will not be accurate and will not be accurate on our screen as you see the time. So it will definitely go beyond the 80 minutes that you see. Because we do not uh, keep track of the extra time. So it's 3-0. The standings in the league that the Spartans play in, the Metro Mesa League, Eastlake is 14-4-1, in league. Otay Ranch is 7-3-2 on the season. They're 4-2-1 in league. 4-3 in league play. And 6-4-2 and two overall is Benita Vista. Of course, the Cavers have played them. Olympian is 6-6-1, six, six and, and they're 3-3-1 three, three and one in league play. Chula Vista is right behind them at 2-2-3 two, two and three in league play, 6-7-4 and four overall. So one of these two teams is going to get their seventh victory. Right now, it looks like it's going to be the Cavers, especially at the big save by Mongo. And coming off the pitch is Shelby Jones, the sophomore. More than likely the way she was moving off the uh, pitch. Probably not going to be playing in the rest of this game. Montgomery Aztecs are 6-8-4 and four overall. They're 1-4-1 one, one in Metro Mesa League play. And Mar Vista is in last place. They're 0-7 in league play, 3-14-1 overall. Down to central, and that ball is driven out of play. So the Spartans are going to get a substitution. As Aguiar is coming out of the match for now. Throw in from the near side by Alyssa Medina. Medina's pass is intercepted. Into the match is uh, Julia Hermosillo. On the soccer ball is Gatlin. Intercepted. Nicely done by the junior varsity player, Izzy Ayala, who's into the match. Ayala is a freshman. One of three that are playing today because of the injuries that the Cavers have. A lot of air on the ball, but it goes right over to Bongo. The other two are Sienna Metzger, the freshman, and Marley Rapstank. One of the Caver players is went went down, and that's uh, Rapstag. I just mentioned her. 
She's getting up slowly. Meanwhile, her teammates are trying to fight an onslaught. And going after it is Tucci. And she's knocked down. And it will be a free kick for the Cabers. Don't know if it'll be a card. We're going to find out. And it is. So a yellow card, and you have to come off the pitch. And the player for the Spartans knew it. And she was already kind of heading over towards her bench. Free kick coming up now for the Cabers. So one yellow in the match. Quite see her number as she went over towards the bench. So I remember who she is. So when she gets out there, I'll give you the name. Just means that she cannot afford to get another card. Otherwise, the Spartans will play one player down. Stag, who was just injured now, still trying to pursue it, but could not secure it as Fausto. And a shot and a save, but the Cabers not able to get their fourth goal of the match. But two quality shots for both teams at the keepers. And so far, they've made the, the save. More substitutions going to occur in this match. It's coming into the match now is Nicole Mitchell, senior. And Leah Guile is going to come into the match as well, the senior. Spartans, they throw it in. Game getting a little testy out there. And again, as I mentioned before at the outset of the match, that the Spartans had to play yesterday. I gave you the score right as halftime began. The second half began, so they had to play Mar Vista. The bumps and bruises start to mount up in a short period of time. Especially if you're down in the match, trying to exert more energy to try to see if you can get back in it. The big save by Vongo kind of thwarted the opportunity for the Spartans to really get back in this match. And now they have to put even more effort towards trying to get back in it. And the Cabers, being a team that's had success recently, are not a team that are going to give up a lot on your efforts to try to get back into the match. They know what has happened this season. And they're going to be more and more stingy as it goes on. So Lima Fausto will throw it in. Guile, who scored one of the three goals, was touched out by Kenzie Easton. After the throw in towards the central, the header. 50 50 ball, Easton up to Guile now. Intercepted by Fausto. Gets it over to Hermosillo. Intercepted on the near side, but they get it back. Playing into some space, but no problem as shepherding that ball back to her keeper was Tucci. Bongo. Hyde. Easton. Hyde. 
Drives the ball where nobody is. A beautiful ball up forward now. This is danger now for the keeper and the Spartans a shot and she's able to make the save. Double teamed the attacker that time. They were able to converge quickly enough to keep it from being a real difficult play for the keeper, Michelle Estrada. Substitution is going to occur as a player who had the yellow card is back into the match. And that is uh, Kaylin Gatlin who had the yellow. And she had a teammate come in as well. We mentioned her as she touches that soccer ball. And now Gatlin is switching to the far side. Which was that was the side of the field where the problem came into play. Just trying to make something happen was Salima Fausto. No problem for Vongo. In his 3 nothing affair, almost 20 and a half minutes left to go in the match. Mar Hyde. Hyde fighting off players. Hyde still on the soccer ball. Early ball now, and Estrada gets over to it. Mara Hyde, just a star player for this San Diego High School Cavers. Hasn't decided what college she's going to go to just yet. Or whether she's going to continue to play soccer. We'll find out. She'll go down as one of the best players ever for the Cavers in their history. Girls soccer history. Going to be a throw in for the Spartans. And when you're a player that goes down as one of the best players, you like to see if, you, if your team was good enough to support you. And they did last season, winning the Division Three title of San Diego. So on that jacket, Letterman's jacket, you got that patch that shows the CIF title. A few athletes get in their high school career. So it'll be a throw in now as it's off of the Cabers. The Spartans will throw it in. Looking at an uphill battle on the score. Stephanie Aguiar comes out of the match. Alice Villa Gomez into the match. She's number nine. Here's Guile now, an early ball, and just couldn't quite get her teammate Shelby Jones to run onto it. Just a little bit too much pace on it that time. And Estrada is thankful of that. Never want to see a 1v1 if you're a keeper. Really test your abilities. Out of the back. Up to midfield. Hyde. Beautiful ball to Guile. Cuts it inside. Hyde runs onto it now. Hyde is still trying to stay with it. They pursue her heavily, but she cuts it inside. Mar Hyde still on a soccer ball. Trying to get it to her teammate in the central. They just couldn't get another strike on it that time. Mar Hyde with a great individual play. And the Cabers definitely want to find a way to make the playoffs so they can extend the seniors an opportunity, this time in Division II, to try to win it all. And that was a division that the Foothillers of Grossmont won the title, 
our other team that we do the live stream. And they're in Division I now by virtue of their successful Division II campaign. That's exactly what happened to the Cabers. Great successful Division III campaign, they move you up to Division II. And now Hyde gets a round of applause. She'll come out of the match. Don't know if she'll come back in. Sienna Metzger is into the match, the JV player, the freshman I mentioned. It's about 16 and a half left to go in the match, so that's why I say Hyde might not come back in. Savannah Tinsley into the match now, along with the other JV player, who's a freshman, Izzy, Izzy Ayala. 50-50 ball now. Into the central now. This is danger up into the air. Those are always tough, but it was too much that time for Julia Hermosillo. Hermosillo all alone. Just couldn't get the right strike onto the soccer ball. So it's a goal kick now. The Cabers. Having a great afternoon. In a rare noontime game of the regular season. That is not out of a tournament. As a part of a tournament. And this game is not as a part of a tournament. Non-league match. Hermosillo. Good dribbling the soccer ball. Try to get it to her teammate. But nicely getting there and interrupting that was Easton. Now Guile on the counterattack. Her pass intercepted. Sent out of play. So it'll be a throw in for the Cabers. Every time it goes out, basically puts more and more pressure on the team in white to try to work with limited time to try to get a draw out of this match because they're down three now. Easton thrown in. Estrada with the save. Upfield off of the midfield line and across and sent over the goal line by the defenders of the Cabers. In this particular case, it was Tucci. So it'll be a corner kick. Kaylin Gatlin, the sophomore. Just a little while ago, had a big bump, cost her a yellow card. Driven on a line drive, just couldn't get her teammate. And that was her sister, Ashanti Gatlin, trying to make a big play. Undoubtedly, the two were family, if not sisters. Shantae and Kayla. Alice Villa Gomez out of the match. Into the match is Angela Gonzalez for the Spartans in white. Guile. Watches it go over to uh, Fausto, who sends across the field pass. They're having troubles with it. Trying to get it out of their own defensive half. And they're going to give up a throw in by the Cabers. The Guile. Guile has it now. Played it over to her teammate that time, Emma Easton, but... Uh, is knocked out by the Spartans. T 
Tick, 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 tick. And that is a advantage always when you're ahead in the match. The running clock, the difference between every sport out there. Soccer, the one of geometric designs, world's most famous sport. You don't really see the designs on the ball like it used to. Fausto playing it upfield. Gatlin tries to get it, can't. Gutierrez with a Fausto. Hermosillo. Fausto. This is Gatlin. Early ball, too much, too hard on that pass. So it's a throw in for the Cavers out of their defensive third. It's about 10 and a half minutes left to play in the match. Right next to the S curve in San Diego. S curve of the five freeway, about a half a mile from the world famous zoo. Downtown, Cavers of San Diego leading 3 0 over the South Bay's. Spartans of Chula Vista knocked out of play on a good hustle play by Guile getting back so that that pass could not be connected with in the area by Chula Vista. They really needed that penalty kick a while ago. Didn't get it. And that might have more than likely sealed the match. As they do get a, a ball into the back of the net, a goal! Go, 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 go! The Spartans continue to work, and they do get one in the back of the net, and they will not be shut out today. I believe that was Hermosillo to put it in the back of the net. So it is now three to one, and as I just mentioned, didn't know that was going to happen, but. I've had those situations before. That penalty kick was looms huge now because it would be three to two. Not only would they be back in the game, they'd have a chance to get a draw out of this match. Or maybe even win it. But they did not were not successful on the penalty kick. So they have to continue to work really hard to try to get another goal and cut the lead down to one. Corona. Actually, that was uh, Tinsley working hard that time. Guile on the near side. And it's out of play. Three to one with eight minutes and some change left to play in a match. Cavers have not been able to win a match in a while. Trying to win one today. Be the first team to get to seven between the two here. Both of them with six wins. Ayala trying to make a play to get to somebody, but... The Spartans have it again now, and they want to go upfield quickly. Way off her line is Mongo. Pilar will drive it straight up in the air. A lot of air on that one. Sometimes those can be really tough for your own teammates to be handling, and Guile on the near side who scored one of the three goals for her team. Securing it, and it's going to be a throw-in now by Kenzie Easton. 
as we look towards seven minutes left to play. And that's not official time, it's just on the stadium clock here. Because remember, Shelby Jones went down. And that took some time. And now there's a whistle, and let's see. It's going to be a free kick. As a foul against the Cabers. And a free kick now for the Spartans. Castro will take it. Carolina. Catalina on an intercept as it came all the way back to her now. Goes off to her right now. Looks for space. Sends it up forward to Gatlin now. Gatlin now. And let's see. The call is going to work against the Cabers, and it'll be a free kick. Kaylin Gatlin. Had to be careful. She has the yellow card, remember. But it went against the defender, and so now it's a free kick. And this is quality from here. They need this in order to, with limited time, to cut the lead down to one. The Cabers with a 3-0 lead in halftime, and it is now 3-1. But not much time, five and a half left to play in a match according to the uh, stadium clock. And maybe a little bit extra, maybe a few minutes extra than that. Play it on the outside and just over the top of frame. So if you're the Spartans, you can't see that soccer ball travel out of play too much. You gotta keep it in play. You have no chance if it continues to go out. And obviously, if you are the uh, Cabers, you're going to continue to do that. You're going to eat up as much time as you can. But then again, you have to be careful in your own defensive half. Cannot make a lot of mistakes. So far, only one has really cost them in this match. The work is difficult if you're the Spartans. You just played yesterday against Mar Vista. You gotta find something in the tank. Which works for San Diego High School. Metzger. Easton's pass, intercepted, back up field now. The Spartans on the near side. With Corona, her pass. And it's going to work against the Cabers, and it's another free kick. Grabbing around the waist that time. Hit hard, but it couldn't dip down that time. Serial Blanco, young freshman player. I believe we've seen her before on GK Sports. Just couldn't get that one to dip down. Going to be good for the Spartans for a long time. Bongo now. Blanco on the intercept. Gatlin can't get to it. At midfield. Intercepted in the space by Gutierrez. Gatlin pressured. They take it away from her. Spartans tried to. Retain it, and they did not. They gave it away. Midfield, the Cabers, they lose it. Back up field, and it's going to work against the Spartans this time. Free kick. Mitchell. With just about two and a half left on this stadium clock. If they can play a lot in the defensive half of the Spartans, this match is over. At this point, you don't want to play a lot in your half. Even with a two-goal lead. 
mentioned the stadium clock is not accurate. From the left flank, the Cabers will throw it in. It is past the goal line. It's going to be a corner. So the Cabers have a corner. Time to put some more pressure on the defenders. Haven't done that much in this second half. Did a lot more in the first half. Sent out of play to the demise again of the Spartans. Don't know how much time the center ref will put on. Maybe only a couple of minutes at most. Gatlin sends it upfield. Connecting passes are key now if you're the Spartans. Medgar, the junior varsity player. Easton now, the varsity player for the entire season, trying to get it to Guile, and Guile kind of stepped wrong. And gets back up quickly, though. She felt that one. There's those injuries you really don't want to come out of here with any more injuries. As, as I mentioned, Shelby Jones, who got nicked up in this match. Pretty much everybody at this point in the season has got to deal with the injury bug. The ones that want to be successful in the playoffs have to find a way, hopefully, to get enough players, quality players, that are going to be healthy to make that postseason run. That's going to be the key. And if you're not very healthy at this point and you're trying to get in a playoff spot, that's going to be very troublesome. You have to hope that you can keep your quality players healthy and finish out the season and get that playoff spot. And that's what the Cavers are trying to do. But it looks like it's going to be very advantageous with this victory today to get over 500, win their seventh match of the season. Continue to process the rest of the season as a foul on the play. Free kick coming up for Chula Vista. Don't forget about our sponsor again. That's Dental Arts of Palm Avenue. Teeth cleanings, root canals, whatever you need. Insurance is welcome. Cross from the Montgomery High School in the strip mall. That's dentalartsofpalmav.com. That's their website. Check them out. Dental Arts of Palm Ave. Dot com. Foul on the play, it'll be a free kick. It's going to work against Spartans. As going down was Savannah Tinsley, the junior. Hey, Coach Steve Lincoln is saying, oh, no, not another one. <laughs> she gets out, up, and stays in the match. Again, I mentioned that uh, Marley Ralph Stagg, Sienna Metzger, and Ayala, the freshman, playing in this match because of the injuries for the Cavers. Saved by Estrada. The win column will be added on by the Cavers. Not enough time for the Spartans to come back. Don't forget about our social media pages. That's gksports.org. Facebook, the pictures, Twitter, the conversation, a lot of good Laker stuff if you're a Laker fan. Of course, the Farmers Insurance open the chance to try and win that thing is going on. 
in San Diego. All the Max Preps articles are right there on the Facebook page. You want to like us on Facebook, and of course, you want to subscribe to us at GK Sports with our YouTube channel. Leah Guile trying to pursue it. Extra time, we are in. And no more time as the double whistle has been blown, and that's the end of the match. An afternoon has been very successful for the Cavers of San Diego High School, winning three to one. And a big play saving that soccer ball, as you see, Pilar Vongo on a penalty kick kept it from being very tense in the last couple of minutes of this match. So the Cabers are now 7-6-2. And, and they'll move on with the rest of their season. As I mentioned, that the Spartans will just stay with South Bay teams and at Metro Mesa League to finish it out in the South Bay. For Rebecca Warden, who brings you the sights and sounds and the live stream, I'm Greg K. Porter saying take care of yourself. Have a great Saturday afternoon or, or Saturday in totality and a great weekend. And we hope to that you tune in on our next match, and that will be on Tuesday with the Grossmont Foothillers. And, of course, the Cavers will be playing as well next week. And tune in for their live streams as well. So long from San Diego High School, the oldest one of San Diego. In the area, and it's always dangerous in the world of soccer if you're the defender and the keeper, but Bongo makes a save. After the throw in on the attack. Good ball, she's on side, go! Go, 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 It's intercepted. Buzzing around now are the Cabers now. The St. Agatha, go! Here she is again, trying for a second, and no! It will be instead her teammate on a good pass. We'll be hard pressed in trying to get a draw or a victory out of this match. And here it comes again. You can't let Hyde and go! For the first time ever in a live stream. But with the dreaded penalty kick. As a defender, you're always wondering about that, always worrying about that. I believe it's Blanco, and it is! A side by Fongo! Oh, she dove to her right and saved the soccer ball from going into the back of the net on a penalty kick! And those are huge! But Vongo was uh, able to clean it up. The standings in the league that the Spartans play in, the Metro Mesa League, Eastlake is 14, 4, and 1. 7 0 in league. Otay Ranch is 7 3 and 2 on the season. They're 4 2 and 1 in league. Out of the back. Up to midfield. Hyde. Beautiful ball to Guile. Cuts it inside. Hyde runs onto it now. Hyde is still trying to stay with it. They pursue her heavily, but she cuts it inside. Mar Hyde still on a soccer ball, trying to get it to her teammate in the central. They just couldn't get another strike on it that time. Mar Hyde with a great individual play. That might have more than likely sealed the match. As they do get a, a ball into the back of the net, a goal! Go, 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 